River and this weekend, according to Mike, it's going to be pretty nice. A lot of people are looking forward to this holiday weekend, especially after this long pandemic. People are so tired. Seven oh, first boy. alert meteorologist Mike <laughs> Taylor tracking the good news for us. Mike, you said uh, everybody's ready to get outside and it's going to be a good one, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a long uh, year of the pandemic, and it's also been a long week uh, just dealing with the flooding and the severe weather. But finally, right on time, we're going to have some nice weather transitioning into the weekend. Today was really just the start. 77, a below average day, which is also a treat because we've had a lot of humidity lately. 56 degrees for the overnight lows, which means the air conditioners are able to get a break. We'll get one more day like that or night and then we'll change it up into the weekend. We're at 75 in downtown Detroit. The dew point's at 52. This is a nice breeze from the north at 13 miles per hour. That's gusting at times up to 20 to 25 miles per hour. And that's keeping things feeling pretty refreshing out there uh, across much of Metro Detroit. Uh, looking across the area, just fair weather skies. Uh, we have 74 in Mount Clemens, a howl at around 72. Monroe, 74, mixture of sun and clouds. High pressure's in control, perfect timing because that's really quieting down much of the country. So it's perfect travel weather, nothing really to interfere with the airports or even the roads. There's one system though, right out here towards the east. Now, if you're heading east at all, or if you have family coming from this direction, there's a little bit of an opportunity for some severe weather out here towards the east, sitting on top of this area of low pressure, some heavy rainfall possibility, slow mover too. But outside of that, things are relatively quiet in most spots of the country. So over the next few hours, numbers stay in the 70s. It's going to stay comfortable. Call it, like to call it a patio night, a uh, perfect night ahead here. So for this evening with temperatures in the 70s, a nice perfect night for the summer. As we go into the overnight though, lows are going back down into the 50s. So this is below average, but it's still that refreshing change in air. Open the windows, let that fresh air in. As we get towards your Saturday, the humidity returns. Here's a look at the muggy meter. It spikes on Sunday for the holiday and it continues to climb as we go towards the middle of next week. So let's just say summer is going to return starting on Sunday. And that's perfect timing in a way. Fourth of July weekend forecast shows that we're going to have a pretty good opportunity to hit the 90s for Sunday as well as Monday. Storms on Monday are expected to arrive late Monday night into Tuesday. That's going to be the best chance that we're going to have those. So something that we'll watch for you, but overall I'm thinking it's going to be a nice weekend forecast ahead. I hope you enjoy the heat though, it's going to be out there. Oh, yeah, we will definitely enjoy the heat, or at least I will. Mike, thank you. Me too. Up next,